to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Spiritual patterns are forerunners of the glory. That means that if you check your life, your family, and everything you are involved with, if there is the absence of the manifestation of the glory of God in any area of your life, the absence or the deficiency of that dimension of glory is a report card. It is telling you there is a spiritual pattern you do not understand or you have not subscribed to diligently. For instance, if you find out that you are not doing well in your finances, wealth, an increase is a dimension of God's glory and if it has not yet been captured in your Christian experience it is not because it is not your inheritance it is that the spiritual pattern allocated for the release of that glory has not yet been known by you are we together so our assignment and the assignment of every servant of the living God, Sundays, weekdays, any day at all, is that when we communicate doctrine, when we teach truth, among the many things we attempt to do is to expose the saints in light to the various spiritual patterns that are responsible for the manifestations of the glory of God. That means if you submit yourself under a man of God, a ministry, a spiritual platform that is sound in communicating this truth of God's word, in no time your life should begin to capture different expressions of the glory of God. If you're in agreement with me, say amen. amen. It should never be that a believer gets saved and he's planted in a church or any kind of spiritual platform and after a reasonable period of time we cannot see the manifestation of the glory of God in the life of that individual it has nothing to do with ministry remember spiritual patterns like I said in the morning they will work eternally for as long as you engage them question you cooked rice yesterday it cooked because it's a pattern you repeated it today and it's still cooked today if you do it tomorrow it will still happen the same way amazing that means that your confidence should not just be on your results it's not just the glory it is that you have the patterns that produce the glory so you do not fear the manifestation of the glory again for instance as a man of god intending to reveal the glory of god in signs and wonders you then know that it does not happen because you are preaching in your church it does not happen because you are preaching in a stadium it does not happen because you are preaching in a room where the sound system is working no signs and wonders happen anywhere the spiritual patterns are located for their manifestations are engaged the car that you drive does not know you i said in the morning the car that you drive you call it your car but the car does not know it is your own whoever drives it you see that the car will obey you as the owner can be frustrated by your own car if you do not understand the mechanics that govern its movement spiritual patterns when you are in your car you are not praying for the car to move even if you are praying you are praying for something else because there is a pattern that gives you security if the car refuses to move you call a mechanic because you say this is wrong this car should be obedient Patterns create predictability to our Christian experience so that you are now not afraid of your results. Please, you have to understand this. Can I tell you this? If you produce a result that you cannot reproduce, it is because it did not come by engaging patterns. So what gives us the audacity to know that the power of God will move in this place, that the sick will be healed, that life will be... What gave you the audacity, the knowledge of the mechanics and the obedience?
obedience of the laws of life the patterns he knows and with 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 child like to the dimensions of God's glory are we together it says thus saith the Lord <laughs> let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the wise man glory in his wisdom number two let not the mighty man glory in his might number three let not the rich man glory in his riches keep that please he tells us three attributes just go back to 23 he tells us three attributes that are worth producing glory one wisdom two power or might three wealth or riches that these are three cardinal expressions of glory you cannot talk about glory outside of these dimensions there are other dimensions but these are the pillars of glory number one wisdom that if you ever see men brag it is because there might be a semblance of wisdom somewhere number two if you ever see men try to be confident it is because there might be some sort of power or might whether military might whether political power that any man that does not have wisdom any man that does not have power any man that does not have riches is usually a quiet person the noisemakers in life and destiny are men who must have one or more of these attributes we are discussing glory are we together If you ever see men brag, check these three things. Wisdom, power, wealth, or various shades of them. Listen carefully. These are the pillars of glory. No matter what else you capture about glory, these are the foundational pillars that define the glory of a man. The glory of a man is measured in his wisdom. The glory of a man is measured in his power. The glory of a man is measured in his wealth. So if God desires that the saints manifest his glory, among the many other attributes, we must pay attention to these three. Wisdom, power, wealth. I bring you a very powerful message, Mina. If it is the glory of God you seek to see, if it is dominion over creation, you cannot have it in isolation to this tree. Can we touch on them a bit? Number one, wisdom. Come with me. Job chapter 28. Job began to speak. Let me take verse 1 and 2, and then for the sake of time, we will jump to verse, say verse 12. Are we together? Job began a discourse that would eventually evolve to the search for wisdom. In this discourse, we are looking for where wisdom hides. Are we together? He says, surely there is a vein for silver. There is a place for gold where they can find it. That is true. If you want gold, you go to the mines in South Africa or Central Africa and so on and so forth. Iron is taken from the earth. They've discovered where iron hides. Brass is molten out of stone. Go to verse 12. It says, but where shall wisdom be found? Where is the place of understanding, it says. Next verse. It says, man knoweth not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living this is a very very fearful information it tells you that among the many things you are looking for don't search the earth realm to look for it it's not found there not in a bank not in any institution not in a safe it is not found in the land of the living next verse the depth said there are other treasures in me but wisdom is not part of them 
the sea that hides the treasures of the earth when we went to the sea even the sea confessed i know that i've been a reservoir of treasures but not wisdom wisdom is not found in me it cannot be gotten for gold neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof it cannot be valued with the gold of offer or with the precious onyx the sapphire next verse the gold and the crystal cannot equal it and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold no mention shall be made of coral and pearls and all of that for the price of wisdom the glory of wisdom you can say is above rubies next verse the topaz of ethiopia shall not equal it neither shall it be valued with pure gold whence then cometh wisdom what sort of a scarce resource is this that we search everywhere because if you are looking for expensive things you go to where the colleagues are but this wisdom does not have colleagues they went to where gold and silver that should be the colleagues of wisdom and those treasures confess that we are not mates this one is higher than us don't come and find it where they sell us whence cometh wisdom and where is the place of understanding we're reading to 23 seeing that it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept from the fowls of the air destruction and death oh 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 two testifiers have been invited now into this boardroom okay if it is not found with the living destruction you are a master at causing havoc to even those who have gold death you who has been able to take kings tell us and destruction and death say we have heard his fame thereof with our ears hmm. good understanding and the way thereof the bible says god understanded the way my goodness my god look at it so it is only god that understands the way thereof and nowhere the place where it hides <laughs> God understands where wisdom is and if God decides to give a man wisdom wisdom always takes men and leaves them to where you found it the knowledge of witty inventions the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Please pay attention. It says, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding and I have strength. By me, kings reign. Kings do not reign with a scepter. They reign with wisdom. Ills was I brought forth. While, I, while as you... Um, had not yet made the earth or the fields or the highest part of the dust of the world it says when he prepared the heavens i was there look at wisdom telling you the honest truth when he prepared the heavens i was there now that you want to build i am not there and he's saying you are in trouble already that god who wanted to make the earth had to call for me to be there by his side any other thing you want to do in this earth if you ignore me you will eventually fail everybody say wisdom one more time say wisdom hmm. the bible is full of men and women who manifested profound exploits on account of this wisdom in fact in first corinthians chapter 2 when you begin to read from verse 6 the bible talks about a phenomena called the hidden wisdom first corinthians chapter 2 how be it he says we speak wisdom among them that are mature yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught he says we speak wisdom the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained then before the world to what end unto our glory wisdom always leads to glory wisdom always leads to glory wisdom always leads to glory 
hallelujah the wisdom of god is very very important in our lives there are different dimensions to wisdom Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Just a few minutes. The Lord wants to start tonight with an impartation. Do you know what an impartation is? An impartation is a transference of grace. Graces can be transferred. Believe me when I tell you, you can carry a grace that you did not come into this venue with. It is true. There are many of you who are in ministry. There are many of you who love God with all your heart. Listen to me. Your possibilities in this kingdom are dependent on the kind and the level of the grace that is on you. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup. He does not anoint my cup. It is my head he anoints. But I know what is on my head by looking at my cup. If my cup is empty, it's not the fault of the cup. Let's lend our destinies a few minutes and then I will also pray for the sick. I just sense when I came in the morning that the Lord would just have me speak over there are bodies. Whatever affects your body is an administration of death already because there is a requisite condition of health for your spirit to coexist with your body. And when your body deteriorates beyond that threshold, the spirit will have to leave. So every manifestation of sickness is an attempt of death on you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. I really believe in impartation. God has granted me the grace to walk in this precious dimension of signs and wonders and graces for a long time. But it never gets... I never get familiar with it. I am in awe myself of the wonder-working power of the Spirit. But I'm praying that tonight you will not only just learn manifestations, that God will open your eyes to see patterns, spiritual patterns that lead to mastery in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are people who are going to begin to run right now under the anointing to come out is by the influence of the spirit just hold them and bring them out right now please hold them and bring all of them now thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done please bring them out Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son, leaving your Spirit till your work on earth is done. There is a grace for speed that is coming. 
people will begin to run under the anointing please hold them and bring them out it's a grace for speed Telabarato shalatia dominion over delay i stretch my hands and in the name of jesus please bring them out by the power that raised christ from the dead help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please just help them in the name that is above all names help manage them so they don't injure themselves in the name that is above all names i declare the hold of delay leaves now speed 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 may that grace come upon you from the front to the back the left to the right speed help this man help this man speed you will never be the same for some of you you are ministers of the gospel i stretch my hands may that grace for speed let it rest upon you now run like elijah run like elijah the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot he overtook the chariot of ahab down to Israel. speed speed by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus hallelujah who is rebecca i'm hearing a name rebecca rebecca let's be fast our time i'm hearing a name rebecca if that is your name please rebecca there's someone called rebecca king of kings lord of lords you reign above all king of kings lord of lords you reign above all so we sing your name extol you reign above all you reign you reign you reign hallelujah praise the name of the lord who is james i'm hearing a name james i'm going to pray for you you are wearing suit with a like a neck and a, a bow tie this is what i'm seeing in my vision is there someone like that a like a bow tie james is there someone like that come i'm seeing you are wearing like ash like ash suit with a bow tie there's someone i don't know if there's someone like that what is your name is there another mic is it working James, sir. James, where are you coming from? I'm from, I'm from Benue. You're a man of God here? Yes, sir. You're a man of God yes, in ministry. Yes, Your sir. life is about to change, my friend. Listen. This lady raising your hand, I'm seeing an angel pouring oil. Take that grace now. That lady lifting her hands. In the name of Jesus, I shift you into a new season of power. By the spirit of the Christ, you will never, never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. The hand of God will come upon you. You will step into a superior dimension of revelatory grace. This grace for revelation, access to revelation. I want to pray for you. Father, I pray for this gentleman. He's a man of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you drink of this wine and never be the same. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. There is a gentleman who will shout right now under the anointing. Loud to the hearing of everyone. Please bring him. Please bring him. The Lord is giving me an instruction. A gentleman. Bring him. Rebecca. Where is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. The power of God will come on one of you now. This is witchcraft. And the Lord is saying to leave you now. In the name that is out now. Please help them. So they don't injure themselves. I cause everything that is not of the Christ. I command it to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus. 
there is a gentleman you are a businessman but you are also an architect you are a businessman but you are an architect the lord is ministering to me to pray for that person who is that person you are wearing like a brown cloth who is that please let's verify these people what's the name sir john john, john you are an architect, architect. Yes, you are a businessman too yes, your life is about to change come i'll pray for you look at me sir you will never forget this quantum leap for the rest of your life lift your hands let me pray for you in the name of jesus i supply by the spirit the grace the grace There is a power of God moving across this row. I don't know why, but I'm just seeing, I just saw light. And the Lord, he's saying he's bringing direction and illumination to people. Just right here. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. As many who belong to this category, may that light and that grace rest upon you. Supernatural illumination, even by the spirit of the living God. You take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Sir, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace. You will never be the same. I shift you by the Spirit to superior realms, contact opportunities from government to private individuals. They come to you even by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that Spirit over this lady. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus, this is Zion. I curse you by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out, I decree and declare, my dear, look at me. This lady on red, I curse that spirit now. Let it let you go in Jesus' name. Release her, release her destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Abel, I'm hearing a name, Abel. Who is Abel? Abel, I'm hearing a name, Abel. Is there someone with such a name? It's like you are at my left, Abel. Abel, Abel. Is there someone like that? I'm going to pray for you. My friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I command that spirit to let you go now and forever. In the name of Jesus. Just leave him there. Sir, I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names. There is a grace for favor that is about to rest. You don't have to believe what I'm saying, but if your heart is open, you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Sir, September, God will begin to do wonderful things in your life, even in the area of finances. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I decree it by the Spirit of God. You're also Abel? Huh? You're an architect also, and you're a businessman. What is that? I'm looking and I'm seeing is this is what is inside. The Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing school certificate. Yes, sir. What my is there? My results. What is inside there? My results. Your result. That's what yes, I'm sir. saying. I yes, want sir. to pray for you. Yes, sir. It will not just be by your certificate. It will be by the favor of God. Amen. I declare by the spirit of the living Amen. God. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy. May the Lord show you kindness. Amen. And sir, I pray for you. In the name that is above all names the grace of god is resting upon you every single one of you in the name of jesus christ can i declare favor over you the favor of god is very important my dear sister that lady lifting her hands wearing yellow i just saw like oil coming on you i don't know where you are coming from but your life is about to change listen stand up this is not just for you this is for your entire family the lord is saying the season of crying and lamentation has come to an end i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the mighty name of jesus christ please lift your voice in one minute and begin to declare that the favor of god is resting upon your life resting upon your life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Maybe I'll just speak over the sick before we just pray for favor. Participate in the prayer. 
You are my hiding place You always fill my heart with songs Of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength. There is a man of God here. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's about to start afresh with you again. This is what I'm hearing. The Lord is saying he's giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. A new beginning. And for someone, the Lord is ministering direction to your life. You are asking, should you go out of this city or should you stay? But the Lord is ministering to me and Isaac sowed in that land. That is the word I'm hearing for you. Isaac sowed in that land and reaped that same year a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the word of the Lord come and with the power that backs it over your life and your ministry. In Jesus' name I pray. Can we spend a few minutes to pray for the sick? I truly believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe that it is the will of the Lord for the sick to be healed. So very quickly, within the few minutes that we have, please help them. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Please. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And you who are following from your homes, from whatever platform, I'd like you to believe right there. Just lay your hand, believing that the Lord is able to bring you healing. Name that is above all names. I decree and I declare stretching my hand over this blessed congregation of God's people and by extension as many who are following in the name that is above all names I take authority over every devil help them now every spirit that is back of sicknesses and infirmity I decree and declare be gone now in the name of Jesus shout a believing amen help them in the name of Jesus every spirit that is back of sicknesses infirmities we take authority over you now in the name of jesus christ now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now be healed now my god i'm telling you i'm sensing such a there's just an overflow of the healing power of jesus just touching people be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus ear conditions be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone with severe pain around your chest area very severe pain the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God ulcers different kinds of ulcers are being healed right now in the name of jesus the christ of god bone conditions i take authority over every bone challenge now by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed in jesus name the lord is showing me someone i don't know if you had problems with your rib around the rib area very severe pain almost looks as though it was broken or fractured right now the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ there's a gentleman I'm seeing you have a serious problem with your neck the left side you are not able to turn efficiently but after this prayer the power of God is touching you and bringing you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone it's, it looks like an infection, but it's, it's progressed to affect you and to make barrenness. 
this is it, and you are not able to give birth you are not able to take him the power of god is touching that person right now right now right now right now i'm seeing it in the spirit the anointing of the holy spirit is coming you are wearing red the power of god is touching you right now right now by the power of the holy spirit someone you have severe pain around your elbow in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i bring you life and i bring you healing in the name of jesus christ there's someone scheduled for surgery in september who is that you're supposed to have surgery i'm praying for everybody but the lord just wants me to minister to that person is there someone like that you are supposed to go for surgery september who is that person is there someone like that oh dear come very quickly please very quickly let's save time whilst he's coming i'm praying right now there's someone i don't know if you have a problem with your right ear i declare the power of god is touching you right now right now i'm seeing someone's mother your mother is in the general hospital i'm seeing someone's mother lying on a sick bed are you the one standing for my daughter your daughter what is wrong with her she's booked for surgery she has a fracture here let me see oh my god look at look at this ah. same power that conquered the grave lives in me what a miracle happened lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me please give me the x-ray lives in me same power that conquers the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives brothers in and sisters the glory of god is magnificent how can a man come up with a this is an x-ray you can see it lifted an x-ray of his daughter's uh what they call it now what's her name sir who is mariam my daughter call her name mariam the lord is bringing a miracle to mariam you believe that do i know you sir yes. have i seen you no sir in the name that is above all names look at me it is not only mariam that god is bringing miracles for but the lord is bringing a visitation even to your life amen i stretch my hands every limitation around your life let it leave now by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak favor you will be the first person i'm praying for who is this standing close to you you're the wife huh why is she here okay well uh, you would have waited for me to call but let me talk to you who i'm seeing give her the mic the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a young lady with problems like thyroid my daughter-in-law your daughter-in-law and my daughter also has hold on what her. is wrong with that person it is just start developing after the wedding the truth there yeah. i have to pray this is an attack this is not the issue of surgery this is an attack i want to pray for you you believe in jesus christ yes sir And your own back pain too yes, sir. your own back pain yes, sir. you believe that you've been having severe back pain yes, you sir. get up in the morning sometimes i'm seeing you stretch in a vision yes, and you are bending and saying your back is paining you yes, you sir. bend down to wash and you cannot even wash for long yes, sir. this is what i'm seeing is that true yes sir. i want to pray for you take in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring you life here at Quantum Lake. In the name of Jesus, let this be the end of it. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we bring deliverance to this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, who has been exalted today as both Lord and Christ. Madam, can I pray for you? Where are you from? Cross River. I'm married to Ibrahim. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, for your daughter-in-law and even your daughter and for you. In Jesus' name, the Christ of God, I bring you life, I bring you healing right now. 
Madam, the power of God is touching you. I'm seeing like fire go through your abdominal area. In Jesus' name, the Christ of God, be healed now. Supernatural healing right now. Supernatural healing, my God, right now. Madam, bend. Check your back. Check your back. Any pain? Check your back. Is there any pain? No, check yourself. No, no pain. Completely. Check it again. Any pain? Are you giving Jesus praise? In the name of Jesus Christ. She's even surprised herself. <laughs> Madam, not everybody fakes miracles. So there are people who love Jesus sincerely. This is called the glory of God, the manifestation of his grace. You understand i'm saying it not as a, uh, from a standpoint of sarcasm because many times when believers see these kinds of things you can just easily assume that people are acting or faking or manipulating no it's unnecessary not at this level praise the name of the lord are we together now madam i pray for you in the name of jesus christ this is interesting i'm praying for you but the power of god is coming on another lady who has your condition please bring her out this is what does bring her that is the person God wants to heal next after you. Now you can go back to your seat. Now the power of God can now touch you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over right now. Bring the person. Because I'm ministering to her, but I'm not seeing the power of God touch her. It's touching somebody else. This thing about the realm of the spirit. I pray for you. That everything you have seen here. That in the name of Jesus, you will reproduce this grace verbatim by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, let's finish our prayer for the sick. Please bring that person if you can. I just want to pray for the person. Madam, the Lord is asking me to speak over you. I don't know, not, not, not this, this woman, I don't know you. But the Lord is asking me to speak over you. I am seeing you walking and the next thing I saw you on a horse. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying I should prophesy speed over your life. I, I don't know you. Can I pray for you, ma? Is that alright? Father, no, just leave her. Just leave her there. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Spirit that makes for speed. Honestly, you will marvel and wonder. You will start having prophetic dreams where God will reveal to you things that will happen. And they will happen exactly the way you saw them. In the name of Jesus, I declare this so over you. In Jesus' name. Mama, our mother wearing the face mask. Can I pray for you, Ma? I don't know you, but the Lord is saying I should pray for you. Two prayer points the Lord is saying I should pray for you. Number one, please stand up, don't kneel, just stand. Number one, that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. This is the first thing the Lord is saying I should pray for you. That nothing will cut short your life. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. And then number two, number two, the Lord is saying I should pray for you that he is bringing restoration to your life. I don't know if this makes sense, but let me just pray. Father, I stretch my hands over our precious mother. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon mama. And in the name that is above all names, everything that is an administration of sickness and infirmity in this body, I call you by name and I command you out of mama's body right now. Let there be a supernatural miracle. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over forever. The fullness of your days, just keep her down gently. You will fulfill by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray. Now, everyone who is sick in your body, please just take it easy with her. I don't know who that person is. Amen. 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 One more time. Amen. every pain that you have around your body I declare healing right now 
supernatural healing i cause the devil that is back of it and i declare there is a lady you've been having severe bleeding hemorrhage severe hemorrhage after this prayer we may not have time for testimonies this night but you can be sure that you are returning healed healed from that demonic affliction in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god be healed right now someone you have a problem i'm seeing is it your molar one of your tooth there's there's a serious problem severe pain in the name of jesus i command that pain to leave you now i command that pain to leave you now the lord is showing me someone here you have hiv this is not the first of the case don't come out for social reasons but you had a dream and someone injected you in a dream and from that time your health began to deteriorate you went to the hospital and they said you had hiv in the name of jesus here at quantum league 2021 i decree and declare that devil of hiv leaves your body right now that devil of hiv leaves your body right now that devil of hiv leaves your body right now in the name of jesus the christ of god whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of jesus now i stretch my hands and i pray the kind of illumination the spirit of revelation that you need to access tonight to begin to understand the ways of god to understand spiritual patterns the patterns that control the glory of god i declare may that grace rest upon you now and i promised i had promised to speak favor in the name of jesus christ exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty when ye go ye shall not go empty by this prayer i decree and declare that emptiness of all sorts in your life comes under judgment now comes under judgment now by this grace I pray especially for those of you who are in ministry, co-laborers in the gospel. By prophecy, I raise helpers for you. Men and women who will hold your hands while you serve the purposes of God. Receive of their ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of revelation. Many of you, whilst you sleep tonight, you will begin to have prophetic dreams and encounters. God will open up to you mysteries. He will lead you to teachings that will connect you to understand what you need to do for the next season of your life. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Now, while standing everyone, let's minimize movement. We cannot end tonight's session without introducing many who need to come to Jesus. There are people within this auditorium the overflow and many outside and even some following online once you heard me speak the holy ghost began to speak to your heart that you need jesus christ hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 says he is the express image of god the brightness of his glory is called jesus the zenith of the glory of god is called jesus and there are people here you've never truly surrendered your heart to the lord jesus christ you may have been a church goer you may even be a worker in church and then there are yet others who maybe you at one point gave your life to jesus but as it is your life has gone haywire and you're saying apostle here at this quantum leap conference i want to make it right i'm going to count one to five for those who are coming if they are coming for the altar call please allow them come i will count one to five for both categories of people give me the honor to pray for you at the end of my the fifth count you will be seated and then i will just pray for them very quickly one run to jesus run like there's fire on the mountain mina celebrate salvation don't sit back and say i want to watch others come before i come please stand because of space I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe 
that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign by Christ Jesus. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for this once. The Bible declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. These ones have come with hearts ready to begin a new walk with you. In the name that is above all names and according to the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that you begin a fresh walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit and I pray that you would be led into levels of growth and advancement, a rich Christian experience in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut you away from anything that does not represent the character of the Christ. And I declare that you go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, all of you in front, I'd like you to please follow the gentleman. Someone should wave his hand so that they'll see you waving. Please follow the people waving their hands in concert. All of you, as we celebrate them, please everyone celebrate them as they go to my right, which is your left. Is this the best you can do, Mina? Let's celebrate salvation. Let's celebrate salvation. Hallelujah. Now, please stand. We're not done. I've been instructed to take the offering. Also, since I'm here, I believe that um, there should always be offerings and seats in the house of the Lord as he has mandated. And so it's my honor to lead us in a moment to just have the offerings praise the name of the lord the bible declares and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound to every good work when you give and you plant seeds in the house of god it is not donation you are in partnership with the lord of the harvest to see to it that souls are saved that lives are transformed and so if you have your tithe you have any special seed seed to the man of God pastor Pete or any other kind of seed can we project the account number for those who may want to do an electronic transfer I believe that there are uh, people I don't know if there's a POS system but if there is then you can go to the back there should be someone to help and guide you otherwise you can make do with the account this is the quantum leap account go ahead and please do well to make sure you check the names especially for those of you online if you are making any transfers be sure that the name attached to the account is what is there praise the name of the lord you can go ahead and plant your seed and for you who are here please bring out your seeds your offerings whatever special seed you have so that i just speak over it if you're looking for an envelope please just wave your hands there should be an usher there to direct you ushers i think there are a few people who are in need of envelopes you're in need of an envelope if you want to do a direct transfer go ahead if there's any special seed, you can just label it, and I'm sure that the finance department will do well to direct the seeds. If you need an envelope again, please keep your hands waving until the officials get to you. Please, let's have... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 